So today I'm talking about a Ford with the P0457 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P0457 code? Well, it's an EVAP control system leak detected fuel filler cap loose slash off. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back up to the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. This is for emissions. And the onboard computer seen a problem in this side of the system, mainly that there's a leak. And so it's gonna to have to be troubleshooting a why. And so what are some possible causes? Well, it could be a bad gas cap or the inlet. And this includes the new Ford Easy Fuel capless systems. So if you have one of those, this includes that. It could be the vent valve. There could be an EVAP leak somewhere inside of one of the hoses or something. It could be in the wiring. It could be the pressure sensor. It could be the charcoal canister and possibly the purge valve. But usually if the purge valve goes bad, you get another code. And so there's going to be some differences on what exactly is going on inside of the EVAP system. It's going to depend on the year, the model, the Ford, and things like this. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your specific Ford to know exactly what's going on. But the basics of what's going on is that you're going to have gas vapors. They're going to leave the gas tank. They're going to go through a hose over to what's called a vapor charcoal canister, which is basically kind of like storage for the gas vapors. And there can be different components on the charcoal canister. One of the main ones is going to be called a vent valve. And the vent valve basically opens or shuts when the computer tells it to. It'll close at certain times and test the system and things like this. And then a hose is going to leave the charcoal canister. It's going to go up to the top of the engine, what's called a purge valve. And the purge valve basically opens when the engine's running, so all the gas vapors go in and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running, so the gas vapors don't escape. And so the most common components that go bad with the P0457 code is going to be the gas cap or this vent valve, or possibly there's a leak inside of one of these hoses going around everything. And so for this reason, the first thing to go and check is going to be the gas cap. Go check it out. Be sure it looks like it's good. It's not damaged or cracked or anything like this. If you do get a replacement, be sure to get an OEM gas cap because sometimes those third-party aftermarket gas caps, sometimes they don't seal up correctly. And this is going to include the new Fords with the Easy Fuel system that doesn't have a gas cap. They just have this inlet down inside of here. And things like dirt or grime or things like this can get inside of here and it could cause it not to seal up. And this needs a seal or else it's going to cause a leak inside of the EVAP system. And so if you do have one of these, what you could do is you could try to go clean it out. You could blow like compressed air in there. There's an emergency filler funnel inside of the trunk with the jack that you can use. And you can insert it in and out a bunch of times to try to loosen up any grime or dirt that might be inside of there. You can also spray inside of there with like WD-40 and try to work it a bunch of times and things like this. But basically, if you have this easy fuel system, you want to go clean this up inside of here and be sure that it's sealing up. Because if it's not sealing and it's leaking, then it's going to cause an issue. And so if you go through and you know that gas cap's good or that easy fuel system is good, the next most common cause of this code is going to be the vent valve, which is usually located on the charcoal canister. Sometimes they can be separate, but it's usually located on the charcoal canister. Inside of this example, this is a 2012 Ford F-150. And number five right here, this is going to be the vent valve. Again, it's going to vary. It's going to depend on the Ford, the year, and things like this for exactly what's going on. But basically, there's a charcoal canister up underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere, and it usually has the vent valve on it. And if that vent valve goes bad, it's a common problem with the P0457 code. And it can get stuck open or get stuck shut. With this code, it's very likely stuck open. And so there's some different ways you go about trying to test it. One way you can try to test it, if you can get to it, sometimes they're hard to get to. So it's going to vary. But if you could take the hose off going to the vent valve, you could start up the vehicle and you could check to see if it's stuck open by checking to see if there's a vacuum at the hose. And then you could check to see that if at some point it closes. So it can vary a bit when the computer is going to tell it to open or close. There's a lot of times you could pull the power plug and see if it closes. But basically it's just a small solenoid inside of there. And you just want to see if it's opening and closing. You can also remove the whole charcoal canister, take it out and test it by putting voltage to it with like a battery and things like this. So there's some different ways you go about testing it. But the next thing to go and check out is, is going to be that vent valve. And, and so if you go through and the gas cap is good or that easy fuel system is good and the vent valve is good, then very likely there's a leak somewhere inside the system in one of these hoses or components or something and it's just causing this problem. And so it's just going to have to be found. And so if you took it to a mechanic, very likely what they would do is they use a smoke machine. They feed smoke into the evap system and then wherever the smoke come out they would know where the leaks at and they'd be able to fix it there's some low-cost smoke machines on like amazon or ebay i'll put a link down below if you need one you can also make these up yourself there's like some youtube videos on how you go about making these up for like five ten dollars or things like this but basically the next thing to do is try to go around and try to find a leak at any of these components going around everything 
And so you can't go through and try to examine all these hoses or anything and see that if anything is obvious, that if there is a leak that you could see, but they can't be very hard to find. So you might have to get like a smoke machine to try to find a leak or something like that. But that would be the next thing to do is to go around and try to find out where the leak's at. And some other possible causes, although not as common, is going to be that there's something wrong inside the wiring. There's also a fuel tank pressure sensor that reports back to the onboard computer what's going on inside the system. And if the fuel tank pressure sensor goes bad, then it could be reporting bad data back to the onboard computer. So the onboard computer just thinks that there's a problem when there isn't. And so while not too common, that can happen. There also could be some kind of issue going on inside the charcoal canister. It could be leaking or it could just be damaged or something like that. And so the whole charcoal canister might need to be replaced. Up inside the engine compartment somewhere is what's called a purge valve. And this valve basically just opens up when the engine's running so all the gas vapors go in to get burnt off and then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape. It's gonna be located differently depending on the Ford and things like this, but it's inside the engine compartment somewhere. Usually when one of these go bad, you're gonna get another code, but one of the hoses going to it might be leaking or something like that. So that is gonna be something to look for. But the last thing on the list is gonna be the purge valve. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with the P0457 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.